You are so lucky that you clicked on this video. I feel bad for anybody else that you're going to meet in a race lobby. And I hope to never see you in a race lobby on iRacing after you find out this information. All right. So I just found out about this setting last night and I won my first race today, a couple hours ago. So last night I'm in a rookie street stock race just to pass the time in between the sprint car races because that's what I like to do. And these, these races are usually pretty easy. I mean, the guys in the rookie class, it's, it's a tough field out there, but it's usually pretty easy. Everyone spins out pretty much. And then if you know what you're doing, you can squeak by. So I'm in a practice session and there is what sounds to be a 10 year old kid going back and forth with what sounds to be like a 50 to 60 to 70 year old man playing eye racing. And the kid's asking for advice and the old man's giving him advice and he sounds like a complete rookie beginner. And then he goes, yeah, the last race I was running, uh, I led the whole thing and somebody took me out at the end. And that caught my attention. So they're going back and forth talking about lines and braking and gas. And then he talks about his steering setup. He asked him what type of ratio he was running. I didn't really think much of it because I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. If he's talking about his physical setup that he's using, what kind of steering wheel he's using, his settings like that. And if you've never raced street socks before, they are, they're not that much fun. They're underpowered, they're big, they're heavy, and they push a lot. There's tons of understeer if you don't attack it at the right way. So this kid goes, what's your steering ratio? And the old man goes, eight to one. And I'm like, what the heck are they talking about? And he goes, you need to try four to one. It's going to be way better. And you'll shave at least a second off of your lap time. And I'm listening to this thinking, what are they talking about? And then the kid goes into detail about how to change this setting. The old man changes it. And he goes, this is insane. He's like, I don't know how I've been not using this setting the whole time I've been racing this. So I hear this. I go into the setting, which I'm going to show you guys how to do this here in a second, change it to the four to one like he's talking about instantly is just, I, I'm a second to two seconds faster on the track. It's so much easier. The car is not pushing at all. And it is just bonkers. That was the most aggressive and competitive rookie class street stock race I've ever been in because I think everybody heard him and went in and changed their settings. So let me break down what this actually means. So when you're running these fixed class races, there's not very many settings that you can change. You can change brake bias in certain cars and in sprint cars, you can change your wing position. But apparently new to me and hopefully new to you, you can change what's called your steering ratio. So it goes from in the street stocks four to one at the lowest to I think 10 to one at the highest. When you are at that lowest setting, what that means is when you turn this wheel this much, it's gonna put a certain amount of input in. When that number is higher, you turn the wheel this much, it's gonna put in a lot less of an input. So to get the same turning at an eight to one as say this with a four to one, you have to turn the wheel completely like this in an eight to one. And I'll tell you why this is so important and why this helped me win my first race. So, so the street socks, that was cool and whatnot. So it got me thinking, I struggle a lot when the sprint cars and other dirt cars with the car being overly snappy. You get into a, a, a situation where you're turning too much and the car bites back and it's, it's just not fun. So I race my sprint car race and the setting is set to nine to one. And I've always struggled when I get into the faster cars, like the, the 360s or the big block modifieds of just being super unstable, snappiness, it, the car biting back really, really hard. So I went into the sprint car race and bumped it from the nine to one that it was to a 12 to one, which is going to mean you can make more movements with smaller corrections in the steering in the game, which is so important because the angle of attack that you get into in the turns, the races are won and lost in the turns. If you have too much angle, you're gonna lose speed and you're gonna spin out. If you don't have enough angle, you're gonna understeer and go right into the wall. So I change it to 12 to one, go out, run my first race, instantly, instantly get the best finish I've ever had in the sprint car races. So this was last night this happened. So I finish up the, that race, I head to bed, I come downstairs, I jump into a race today and I win. I won my very first race. And I, I'm telling you this setting makes such a huge difference. Now to set this up, it is super easy. When you're waiting in your lobby before the practice starts, the qualifying starts or the race starts, 
there is a section at the top that says garage, setup, and then quit. You wanna click on garage, go into chassis, and that is where you're gonna see this setting at. The only problem is I've tried saving it, but after every race, after every practice and qualifying and race, I have to go back in and change it every single time. If you guys know how to not have to do that, please let me know. I've tried saving it and making a profile for that. It's gonna change your life. You're gonna, you're gonna gain seconds on your time. You're gonna possibly win some races just like I did. If you guys watched this video and stuck it out to the end, you are gonna have such an advantage over the people that do not know this.